A former Romanian orphan, now living what he says is a dream life in New Zealand, has been invited to speak to the Romanian Parliament in an opportunity to urge them to change their adoption laws. Alex Gore is now a New Zealand citizen after being plucked from an orphanage by a German couple at the age of 22 months. But foreign adoptions in Romania were subsequently shut down and Alex has been waging a campaign to change that. Tomorrow he will address the Romanian parliament about his life and why opening up foreign adoptions is life-changing for children like him. Here's Kate King. I have my dad's name is Walter, my mom's name is Heidi, and my brother's name is Colin. This is Alex Kuhl's family, a family he may not have had if Romania hadn't opened up its orphan children to the world. I was adopted when 1997, so I was two years of age roughly, 22 months old. Oh, Heidi and her husband wanted a baby. They didn't mind if it was a boy or a girl. They just wanted to help the helpless. It's on me. I can eat. Yeah. What is chubby? <laughs> and 16 years later, there's no doubting the difference they've made to a boy they named Alex, a boy who at the time the orphanage told them was retarded. Yeah. When Alex came first, he couldn't really walk with 22 months. When we hugged him, um, he just thought, oh, what are they doing with me? He'd never got hugged before. So in a family, the, the children grow up much easier and much care about. When scenes like these from Romanian orphanages made headlines around the world two decades ago, it sparked outrage and parents from the West rushed in to adopt. Today there are still more than 70,000 children in the care of the state. The difference now is they can't be adopted by anyone from outside Romania. There are lots of countries that would be willing to adopt children from Romania. The examples, the leading country would be such as New Zealand, which are very interested. We're actually interested in the 90s when it had opened it, there were lots of adoptions because the children have been integrated very well into the New Zealand culture. And also America's very in interested as well. Go. Yay, come on. Yeah. Alex and his brother Colin are a prime example of that. Ooh. They integrated seamlessly into German culture. Victory! And after moving here seven yes. years ago, Good job, Victory. Alex. Good job. and now New Zealand citizens. I think they should change the law because it will give children benefits in areas of cultural experience like I had. I've grown up as this as a result now bilingual, being able to speak English and German, which is, will be enormous for me in my future to come. And I've also gained you know, enormous opportunities in education now. I'm in my last year of schooling and my goal, ambitions for next year is to study mechatronics, which is robotics at Auckland University. To the President of Romania, dear President Therian Basescu, my name is Alexander Marcus Stano. Yes, Alex is I'm smart, very Stano smart, Stano and he's using his I'm writing skills to urge Romania to look at its foreign adoption success. policy. My biggest wish, desires and prayers are that every child will get the chance to grow in a lovely and caring family and not have to suffer the social and emotional neglect as a result of having spent time in an orphanage. He's and sent countless letters to the UN, the Romanian president and parliament. You still have the power, President Tiran Bisescu, to change the lives and destinies for generations of children but it was this heartfelt letter which has started something great. Next week, Alex will address the Romanian parliament about his life. We also they actually need to change something and not just talk about it. We actually also need to follow through with the appropriate actions. However, this battle is even more personal than it seems. Heidi and Walter have been trying for 10 years to adopt a sister for Alex and Colin. We got the two boys and we said, oh, it would be lovely if we would have two girls. And then we applied for another adoption and said this time, OK, we'd like to have two girls. And we met those two girls in 2002, 2003. And um, we came in contact with those girls. We did the paperwork in Romania and then they shut the uh, foreign adoption. 
One of them, called Rodica, remains in a Romanian orphanage. She's turning 14 this next year, in March. And why is it that your family wants to adopt her? Because we've found her and she's really special to us. She's like, because she's just special and we want to help her and provide, provide her the same opportunities that we, have, Colin and I, have been given and give her the same, that she can enrich her full potential. Alex now knows exactly how far his potential can go and how different his life could have been had he not been given the opportunity to explore it. Because now if I would be in Romania, I would be probably living on the streets and wouldn't have any future in my life. You really think that? Yes, that would happen there. People at the age of 18, they get kicked out of the orphanages and they become a social economic challenge there for the government because they have no opportunities. They have learned no means to provide even the basic necessities of life for them. Okay, King reporting. Alex is speaking to the Romanian parliament. Remarkable life story so far, Alex.